Hi there. Today's Pilates mat work session is focusing on shoulder blade stability and mobility. So we're going to stand at the back end of our mat. We're going to inhale, arms up, overhead. Exhale, roll down one segment of your spine at a time. We'll just hang heavy here for a second. Inhale, roll up one segment of your spine at a time. Bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Hands come down between your legs or hanging over your feet. This time we'll add a twist. So inhale, right arm comes up. Look up if it's comfortable for your neck. Exhale, bring it back down. Left arm up, look up. Exhale, bring it back down. And then take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, roll back up one vertebrae at a time. Bring your arms up overhead. All of these arm movements require um, shoulder blade mobility. Exhale, roll down one vertebrae at a time. We'll take that one more time. Inhale, right arm comes up, look up. And bring it back down. Inhale, left arm. And bring it back down. This time, bend your knees, walk yourself out to a plank. Here's where the stability comes into play. Let's take a breath here. If you need to be on your knees, that's fine. Otherwise, in this full-on plank, I'm going to center my right hand. I'm going to turn and face you. My left foot is in front of me. I have my feet staggered. Right? You can put, if you want to do the more advanced version, put your top leg on top of your bottom leg. We're going to do a rainbow here. Again, shoulder mobility, and now we'll add the twist. And open the chest, exhale, reach under, inhale, open, last one, under, and open. Set that left hand down, come back to your full version of your plank or your kneeling plank. Center your left hand, rotate to your left. Stagger your feet or place them one on top of each other or be on your knees, right foot in this in front. I'm going to lift my arm this time as I rainbow dip my hip, lift it, create a rainbow shape. Last one. Good. Reach under and open. Reach under and open. Last one. Reach under and open. Rotate back to your version of a plank. I'm going to come to my knees this time and we're going to lower down. One fell swoop. Place your hands by um, your side seams. Turn your head to one side or the other. Reach your legs out long. Belly is lifted. As you inhale, pick up your head, chest, thighs. Slide your hands into your imaginary cargo pockets. Exhale, set your head and chest down. Turn your cheek to the other side. Rest here for a moment. Inhale, rise up. No wrinkle in the back of your neck. Exhale, set it back down. Turn your cheek. Inhale up. Gaze is at the end of your mat. Belly's lifted. Set it back down. If you have any back discomfort, separate your feet. Here's our last one. Inhale up. Unwrinkle the back of your neck. Exhale back down. Now, we're going to slide our hands out in front of us. So my palms rest on the mat. You probably can't see them in the video, but my palms are out long like I'm Superwoman or Superman flying. My nose is hovering over the mat. My belly's lifted. Now I'm going to inhale and I'm going to come to spinal extension as I lift my thighs and my arms and set it back down. Again, if you have any low back discomfort, you're going to separate your feet a little bit wider. All right, here we go. Inhale, lift, exhale back down. Inhale, lift, exhale back down. One last one like this. Inhale, lift, exhale back down. Good, I'm gonna scoot down just a little bit on my mat so you can see a little bit more. We're gonna take swan dive. Okay, we've done this in class together. Um, you might have to pad your hip bones um, just to make it a little more comfortable. And if you have not practiced this with me in the room, probably not a safe move for you to do. 
but I'm going to come up onto my hand so that I'm in that spinal extension position. And as I am, have my belly lifted and my legs and thighs are nice and active, I'm going to inhale and I'm going to dive forward. And as I exhale, I'm going to catch myself again. We're going to do that two more times. Good. That shape of my thighs, my torso, and my upper chest <clears throat> should be kind of like a rocker, the, the wooden part on the base of a rocker. All right, here we go. One last time. Good. Now from here, I'm going to reach back and I'm going to take a bind. <clears throat> Before we start to move this, I want to talk about leaving the head still. All right, so this is going to come more from a lift. We're going to lift our thighs as we rock back and forth. Good. Let's push back to a child pose. Again, if you have any discomfort when you're up in that spinal extension position, you're going to separate your feet. All right. We're going to come to quadruped, hands and knees. We'll take that cat cow. Now, when we're bearing weight on our hands, it requires um, <coughs> excuse me, st uh, stability of the shoulder blade. So we're going to exhale. We're going to drop the crown of our head on our tailbone. We're going to reverse course and inhale. My arms stay nice and long. And if you pay attention, you'll be able to feel that your rib cage moves underneath your shoulder blades. Keep that movement going as you exhale. With each breath, you're going to create a movement. And now I'm going to come back to the middle position. I'm going to reach my right leg out behind me. I'm going to try to level up my hips. I'm going to bend my right foot. And I'm going to take my right hand and reach back and grab my right foot. So I'm balancing on my left arm my left foot. Good. Release that hand to the mat and set your knee down. Now when I do that, I will get a little bit of spinal extension. So I'm going to stick my left leg out, bend my knee. I'm going to transition to my right arm and leg as I reach back. I'm going to put pressure in my hand with my foot and vice versa. I'm going to open up my spine. Good. Replace the hand and then the knee. Let's take a quick child pose. And then come on back up. <clears throat> Hands underneath your uh, shoulders. And then right leg extends again. This time my left arm reaches out with my thumb up. I'm going to turn my thumb down and I'm going to reach around and back to my left hip. I'm going to slide my left arm up my left side of my body with my thumb up. I'm going to turn my thumb down and I'm going to pull it back kind of challenging, right, to have things moving. We create some dynamic stability here. Inhale, glide up. Turn your thumb down. Exhale, pull it back. Set your left hand down and then the um, right knee. Extend your right leg, I'm sorry, your left leg. Reach your right arm out with the thumb up. Turn it down. Exhale, pull your right arm back by your right side body. Glide your right hand up your right side body. <clears throat> Turn your right hand down, your right thumb down, and pull it back. We're going to do it again. Hips should be level. Last one. Good. All righty. We're going to come to the 100. <clears throat> so remember, our 100 has a couple of um, variations. I might walk through them before we start. So your most basic version is here. Remember, whenever we're in the 100, we're going to be in neutral pelvis, neutral spine. So um, being on the floor is our most basic version. A little more challenging. Knees are parallel to the floor, feet off the floor. Again, I have that neutral pelvis. If you've been in class, you know what I'm talking about. And then legs long is your um, more advanced version with legs reaching toward the floor out long, more challenging. So I think I'll do <clears throat> about 25 at each position here just so you can see them. So palms are going to 
um, face each other as our arms extend toward the ceiling. I'm going to exhale, curl up, bring my hands in down toward my hips. And I'm going to inhale two, three, four, and five, and exhale. Four and five, inhale two, three, four, and five, and exhale. Two, three, four, and five, inhale two, four, and five, and exhale. Two, three, four, and five, inhale two, three, four, and five, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale two, three, four, and five, and exhale. Two, three, four, and five. Keep a little gap between your chin and your chest. Inhale two, three, four, and five, and exhale two, four, and five. Inhale and exhale. Inhale two, three, four, and five, and exhale two, three, four, and five. Inhale two, three, four, and five, and exhale two, three, four, and five. If you need to come down for a second, go for it. I'm continuing to move. Inhale, two, three, four, and five, and exhale. Arms reach nice and long. Exhale, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, two, three, four, and five, and exhale. Last set. And exhale, two, three, four, and five. Good job. Bring your head down. Now's your time for your little bit of a break. We're going to come to a single straight leg stretch. Again, neutral pelvis, legs up to the ceiling, head and chest lift. Inhale, inhale, sniffing breath, pulse that right thigh toward the right side of your chest, switch it. Exhale, inhale, inhale, switch it. Inhale, inhale. Inhale, inhale, switch. 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 Last one. Inhale, inhale, switch. Inhale, inhale, switch. Nicely done. Single bent knee stretch. This is the one where we're going to hammock our head. We'll create that math formula. Forward pressure, backward pressure, hand and foot, or excuse me, hand and back of the head resist each other. These at tabletop. Sorry about, um, let's do bicycle first. Sorry, I misspoke. So left leg extends, rotate right. Inhale, return. Rotate and return. I misspoke again. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, return. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, return. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, return. Keep that space between your chin and chest. One last one. Good. Now, we'll come to single bent knee stretch. Pick your head and chest up. Put your left hand on the inside of your right knee and your right hand on the outside of your right knee. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. And switch. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Last one. And come on back down. Nicely done. All right. Top hat. This time we're going to imprint. This is one of those more challenging moves. So imprint your spine, hands to the top of your knees. Lift your head and shoulders. Inhale, reach arms and legs away from each other. Exhale, regroup back in center. Inhale, reach, exhale, return. The lower your legs are to the floor, the more challenging this becomes. Good, last one. Nicely done. Next, we'll do double leg lowers. Um, so we're going to hammock the head again, interlace your hands, put them just above the nape of your neck, imprint your spine, both legs long. Inhale, start to lower your legs. Exhale, bring them back up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, bring them back up. And lower. Bring them back up. Don't let that spine come up. Lower. And return. Here's our last one. Lower. And return. All righty. Now we're going to roll like a ball. Knees are come up toward your chest, feet off the mat, hands behind your thighs. Find that space that is your tripod between your sits bones and your tailbone. Exhale, roll. Inhale, pop up at the top. Pop your chest up and uh, sit on that tripod. If you have osteoporosis, this is not one for you. Good. Make it all about the core. The elbows wide is what will keep you from uh, landing hard. All right, we're going to turn on to our side. Bend your knees in whatever way feels comfortable for you. And I'm going to 
rest my head on my lower arm. I'm going to take my top arm, in this case my right arm. I'm laying on my left side with my head on my left arm, and my right arm is out in front of me. I'm going to push my right arm out as I glide forward, and then I'm going to pull it back in. So if my hand is, let's say, a foot away from my chest, I'm going to glide it away from my chest. Now it's maybe two feet away from my chest, and then I'm going to glide it back in. I'm on hardwood. If you're on carpet, um, it might, you might have a little drag there, but it'll still work. Now we're going to do about three more of these. I want you to just think about what's happening on the back side of the body. If you can feel that shoulder gl blade gliding over your um, ribs. So we're going to inhale, reach out, exhale, bring it back. Inhale, glide it out. Exhale, bring that shoulder blade toward your spine. We're going to do two more. Glide that shoulder blade down your spot, towards your spine. Cross the ribs towards your spine. Good. All right. We're going to come up to that side lying position for a side work. So um, my elbow's underneath my shoulder. I have some stability here, right? I don't have any sagginess happening. And um, I'm going to pick up my top leg. I'm going to draw the alphabet with it. So either um, lowercase or uppercase, black letters, cursive, whatever works for you. But we're going to work that hip. Now, we need stability in order to hold ourselves essentially in this half of a side plank, right? So that uh, shoulder blade stability comes into play here. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, don't forget the period on top if you're doing lowercase, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Bring that top knee forward and give yourself a little hip massage. It may need it. We're going to come down and we're going to work the obliques. And we're going to come into side bananas. So I'm going to put my palm down. My top hand reaches along my outside of my right thigh. My right hand reaches on the outside of my right thigh. I'm going to inhale up, exhale back down. Inhale up, exhale back down. Arms and legs come up. Good. And up and back down. Last one. And up. Good. Twizzle around so now you're laying on the other side. We'll start with that telescoping arm. I'm going to rest my um, head on my right arm as I lay on my right side. My knees are bent here. The legs don't really matter here, except you give it a little more stability if your knees are bent. So my left arm is right in line with my left shoulder. My hand is in line with my shoulder if you were looking down from above. <coughs> my hand's, I don't know, maybe a foot to 18 inches in front of me. And then I'm going to inhale, rotate that hand forward, exhale. Glide it back toward me. Inhale, reach away. Feel that shoulder blade glide away from the center of your rib cage toward the edges. And bring it back home. Now that uh, corner or edge of the shoulder blade comes closer to the spine. And reach and glide it back. And reach and glide it back. We'll do this one and back and last one and back. All right, we're going to come up on that forearm, creating some shoulder stability. Legs out long. My pinky toe on the underside of my leg, or the under leg, is in the mat. My heel is lifted. We're going to back to the alphabet. Whatever version of the alphabet you did on one side, you'll do on this side. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, 
Y and Z. Bring that leg forward. Give yourself a little massage wherever it feels like it needs it. Good. All right, we're going to come all the way down. We're going to come to side bananas. Bottom palm is down or up. More advanced is up. Top hand can be in front of you or up on your thigh. All right. As we inhale, chest and legs come up and back down and up and back down and up and down and up and down. Last one, up and down. Good. Come back to supine. We're going to roll up. We're going to do, I think, four roll ups and the last one or two will come into teaser. Now, let's talk about that roll up and what we do with our arms in between. We start with our collarbones wide and our shoulder blades rooted onto the rib cage, right? And then once we land, we're going to come back to this position. Our arms will come overhead, and then we're going to do a half a snow angel, and then bring our hands back up. So here's what it looks like. We're going to imprint our spine, palms face each other, arms straight up to the ceiling right over your shoulders. Exhale, imprint, roll up one vertebrae at a time, stack it up, take an inhale at the top, exhale, roll it back down. As you roll down, the arms come overhead, they make a half circle, and then they come back up to the start position. Inhale to prepare, exhale, roll up, use your ab muscles, your core, don't just hop back up. All right. If you come to a space where it's difficult, snow angel, arms back up. You can't get up, pause, regroup with your breath, take another exhale and start again. So here we go. Exhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Sit up nice and tall, take an inhale at the top, exhale, roll it back down. Arms overhead, swoop them around that half snow angel, palms up. Take an inhale to prepare, exhale, roll up. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll it back down. Arms swoop around. This time, bend your knees. Bring them to tabletop. Arms come up. Nice full inhale. Exhale. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Extend your legs if that's available to you. Or stay here. Roll it back down. Arms overhead. Exhale. Roll it back up. Good. From here, let's come to our seal. You know that means we're on the home stretch. So sit on that tripod. Place your hands palm up between the gap between your heels and your hips. Knees turned out. We're going to inhale, right? And we'll do our sound effects. Arf, arf, arf. Roll it back. Arf, arf, arf. At the top. That was a fail. Uh, arf, arf, arf. Let's do one more. And then on your third one, you're going to land on your feet. All right, here we go. Arf, arf, arf. Roll, arf, 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 at the top, arf, arf, arf. All right, here's our last one. You land on your feet. Arf, 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 roll, arf, 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 and at the top, arf, arf, arf. All right, well done, everybody.